Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AEZS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, then it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today. And then you have the much higher volume than is normal. So well above average. So let's map out some levels of support. And then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? And that would be if the price can stay up there above $2.80. Now, with that being said, if the price does not hold above there, I'm not saying the entire chart's broken or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that area, that would definitely be a huge sign of power. Next level of support after that would be the bottom portion of this consolidation phase, essentially the lows of the day. And that was down there at $2.65. So 280, 265, two of those near-term levels uh, were, became very apparent that whenever the price did approach either of those areas, you know, both right there this afternoon and then earlier on in the day right there, there were people that were willing to buy shares and, you know, there was just the demand overwhelmed the supply. So some good old economic supply and demand there. But 280, 265, the key support areas. Now, what about levels of resistance? In terms of where the sellers are, pretty straightforward. They didn't really hide themselves. I just kind of made it known to everybody that people are willing to sell and wanting to sell right up around 291, 292. I'm not saying the price can't break through that area or anything like that. I'm just saying, uh, you know, according to what the, the, the story is telling us, that is where the sellers were hanging out at, and that'll be public enemy number one going forward. All in all, though, anyway, you look at the chart, very, very nice move today. Good to see that the price did chip away and build higher lows as the entire uh, day unfolded. So now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum next week? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.